everyone. It's Trish. I'm still in London, England. <laughs> Whoop did he do? So what's up guys? I woke up this morning. I'm sorry like I'm cut off. I have no tripod. I'm in my hotel. Um, I woke up this morning feeling a lot less regretful than I thought. Usually when I make a really bad decision, I wake up the next day and I'm like, why the fuck did I do that? I wasn't that hard on myself. I was like, you know what? I even spoke with my ma manager who's fucking amazing. And like everything happens for a reason. I still got a lot of shit to say. But I'm gonna give the show an opportunity to sort their shit out with me um, before I have to say shit. So I will leave it at that for now. I will be doing a comment on tonight's show because tonight they're going to show me leaving. And I will comment on it. That's it. You know, like I commented last night, all I did was comment on the fake asses of Big Celebrity Big Brother House um, Amelia, Paul, Sarah. Just, I, it just, that's what I did. I looked up reactions, I commented on the fucking fakeness. So, that's not, ne the negativity is out. I'm out of the house, the negativity is out. We're gonna move on to more important things, which is me and the Trish show. They can never shut down Trish because this is the Trish show. The Trish show will always run. I will always have a voice. I will always keep talking. When they leave the house, they go back into irrelevancy. You guys, can I just say, <clears throat> it is not about followers. But of all the people in the house, I was given the most shit from inside the house and outside the house. Katie Price is on bit on the side was like, "Who is she? She's not a real celebrity. Get her the fuck out." <clears throat> not about followers, okay? Not about it. I'm so tired of mainstream celebrities shitting on YouTubers, including Paul. The day I was up, he's like, "You know what? She thinks she thinks she got the online support. I don't trust the online." Paul Dushnanan has 3,000 followers on Instagram, and that's after he's been on a nationwide show. Sarah Harding, who everyone said was the big famous one in the house, has 50,000. You guys, I am not saying I'm a big fucking celebrity, but I'm sorry, if you are a mainstream celebrity, you are Selena Gomez, who has 100 million, you should have more than me if you were going to talk down on me. Okay, I don't like the word fans, I don't like the word celebrity, okay, but like, People don't know you, brah. People don't know you anymore. To prove my point, Queen of England Trish is on the cover. Oh, shit, I just lost my spot. <laughs> Queen of England. Oh, hi. There's. Where's my spread? Oh, there it is. Queen of England, bitch. These are only the two that were out today. My manager has a bunch that I have to get. CBB, Trisha Paytas, Smart Sexy. Look at that. Full fucking two-page spread, bitch. Queen of fucking England, bitch. So I love the English public because I'm sorry, Paul. Where are you? Where are you, Paul? Where are you, Sarah? I'm sorry. Where are you guys? Okay, yeah, I forgot. Like nobody knows me. I just get a two-page spread in your country's magazine. Thanks, UK, by the way. Um, Y'all are cool. Then we have this lovely one right there. And keep in mind, this was from like these are these came out when a couple days ago, right? So huh, the shit storm video hasn't even started. The press storm hasn't even started to see Trish on this. Like I, I, the first week, every single day is on the papers, and when I get that, I'm gonna fucking show you. Show you the Queen of fucking England has arrived. Vote me, get me in. Um, look at that bitch. Five things to know about Trisha has a whole life history because the whole country needs to know. And thanks for that book promo though, the history of my insanity. Thanks, babes. Before I even went into the Big Brother house, before I even went in, this was the Monday before. Front fucking page, bitch. Bam. Who's that happy hooker? Who's that happy hooker? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Nice. I don't have the other ones. I literally just got out last night at like midnight. Game got back about 2 a.m. So I went for lunch today and I just saw these two just totally random on my things. And I saw the spreads and I was like, that's like... What? what? Like, do you get what I'm saying? I wasn't even in the drama this week. I wasn't even in the drama this week and I'm the paper, bitch. You know? By the way, it hasn't been, well, you know what? I won't even say. Something hasn't been revealed on the show that I know about Sarah Harding. Not nothing too personal, but all I know is she is in for a rude awakening when she gets out of that house. <sighs> Look, you guys, watch tonight because they're going to probably say something about my exit. I will give you guys an update on that. And then we'll see if they sort their shit out. And if they short, sort their shit out, I don't have to make the video I wanna make. But they have to make it right with me because some shit went down. 
And that's it. That's all I'm going to say about that. But hey, Summer Big Brother, at the end of the day, look, this is what I say. I'm actually living with a lot less regret than I thought. A lot less, I want to get back in the house. Bitch, I want to get back in the house now. I fucking, fucking get me in that house with these fucking fake ass people. Because now that I know they're fake, I would go hard. Because I confronted all of them. That, every single, the three people, only three by the way, I was the lowest person to get the nominations. Only three people put me up. And those three people were so fucking fake to my face. But those were three people that I told I did not like to their faces. And they did not tell me. They're like, you're being paranoid. You're this. Come at me, bro. Paul was kissing my ass trying to get a fucking agent back in LA. Like, they all want to come to LA. Bitch, I get to go home to LA because that's where I'm from, okay? It's just, you know what? At the end of the day, my manager's like, are you excited to go home? I said, you know what? I kind of I kind of dig the UK. Like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of dig you guys, right? Inside the house, you guys had a very bad representation of who you guys were. So all I thought was the whole country sucked. But coming out and feeling the love and the fact that you guys voted and shit, like, yes, you... I, I would like to stay here, UK. Look at that. Fucking queen of fucking England. Queen. Bitch, yes. I walked out today and everyone's like, I loved you on Summer Big Brother. Yes, bitch. You know how many people are tweeting and in real life saying, like, I'm no longer watching that show. Like, you're the reason I fucking watch it. All my American people watched it. Because of me and it feels good. And I know I may sound super cocky or conceited, but remember the house that I just came from. People telling me, people calling me, Paul body shaming me for being in a bikini when every single else person was. Sarah calling me a stupid cow. Jordan saying I'm lazy because I'm not as fucking made. He's like, Trisha never cooks. What do you want me to cook for you, bitch? You guys watch my videos? You want me to boil some water and put an egg in there for you? Because that's what we're going to be eating. You know what I ate in the Big Brother house? Potato chips and cookies. Everything disposable. If you want me to cook for you, we're going to have potato chips and cookies. And yes, I'll clean those fucking dishes by throwing that bag in the trash. He's just coming up with an excuse because I didn't like him. And he's a fake person. And now that I'm on the outside, everyone's like, who are they? Who are they? You know what I mean? Like... So if I'm coming out cocky, you can see, just remember where I came from. People just telling, shitting on fucking YouTubers. Fuck that shit. I'm tired of mainstream celebrities from 20 years ago shitting on YouTubers, the new digital. I understand now why Paul said he doesn't trust online following. That He's like, they're not real. And Jordan being like, yeah, she'll be happy when she goes home to her computer with all her fake, fake friends. Do they not realize we're in 2017? This is digital. This is digital. This is the way, this is why they're, they're where they're at. And I'm not saying I'm all cool and mighty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't need the show. No, I didn't need it. I wanted to be on it. I thought it was really cool. I honestly thought it was super cool. I was like, oh my god, I've respected people on the show before. Michael Madsen, Pamela Anderson, Gary Busey, like fucking real ass people. This show was a shit show. Nobody, I, I lost respect for it, but I'm still appreciative for it. I'm appreciative for the experience. I'm appreciative to the UK press and the UK people who voted for me. Like that, I'm appreciative. Everyone else can go fuck themselves till Sunday. I'm gonna leave it on that because who knows what Sunday will bring. So until next time, because it's gonna be soon, it'll probably be tonight. I'm gonna go find some clothes to wear because I've been wearing this London England already because I have like no clean clothes. Until next time, which is probably tonight because I'm gonna be watching, possibly, if I can figure out how to turn my TV on. Here are my kisses. Wait, is it on tonight? Or tomorrow? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Here are my kisses for a little baby fishies. Mwah! Bye, guys.